intelligent journey. Uh, so as Christine mentioned, uh, my name is Andrea Keith. I'm the Executive Director of La Asociación Crear en La Samara, Costa Rica. Uh, we are a supplementary educational program, nonprofit dedicated to holistic education for the local youth. Costa Rica has an interesting situation with education. Uh, about 80% of our population lives in the Central Valley region, all the big cities are. And as you get further and further out to these rural areas where Crear is located, there's a huge lack of resources, and lots of stuff isn't making it to us. Um, the schools in our area suffer from lack of personnel, extremely limited access to internet, and they can't offer extracurricular activities. In addition to this, students are only going to school average three hours a day, 150 days a year. They're supposed to go about 210. Substitute teachers don't exist. They can't offer art in school. English classes aren't very high quality. There exists a lot of educational gaps in these rural areas, and that's why CREAR is here to sort of address those and, and fill in those gaps as best we can. Uh, we are trying to <coughs> break the cycle of poverty as best we can through enhancing our three programs focused on English, art, technology, girls empowerment, and fail with those all to improve that holistic education. Um, as I mentioned, we're located in Costa Rica. Costa Rica is a country known for its coffee, its landscapes, and its wonderful people. It is a recommendation, recommended destination for many reasons, and it is the choice country for retirees, investors, tourists, and now students. Uh, today, you will see a photo of me. This was 11 years ago. I was a college student. I wanted to explore, create, learn new languages, and understand the world from a different perspective as many of your students probably do as well. Uh, I was just the absolute most naive, silly, stupid, 19-year-old, um, 20-year-old imaginable, but uh, I wanted to learn a lot and I made a conscious commitment to myself to continuously develop and develop my brain and that's what initially brought me to Costa Rica. Today you'll be able to discover a new Costa Rica uh, from a different perspective and you'll learn why CREAR is a very smart choice, one of the smartest choices for your students' internships abroad, as well as for volunteer groups like Christine's from Delta College. I'm gonna outline three reasons why internships at CREAR are a smart choice. Uh, first though, I'd like to give you a few facts and figures related to our location in Costa Rica. Guanacaste suffers from a 39% poverty rate. In addition to that, we have a 23% adolescent pregnancy rate. Only well, 83% of students abandon high school and middle school. That means only 17% of students are actually graduating from high school. Of those 17 that graduate, only 7% are actually going to make it on to higher education. Uh, during Don Francisco's speech this morning, we talked about NINIs, and there's this whole thing about employability and improving all that. So NINIs are students that need trabajo ni estudio. They, they don't work and they don't study. We have 150,000 in the That's 7% of our population. That's a big problem. Uh, currently, CREAR, you know, we have this big long-term plan. It's very long-term. It's not something we're just going to start up tomorrow. But uh, we want to start improving the employability of summer locals. We want to be a resource to summer locals in terms of customer service, technology, English education, all those areas. Really try to create a profile of an employable individual, engage local businesses, and be a bridge between businesses and employable individuals and start to make those connections. <laughs> Because that's how you're really going to begin to break the cycle of poverty. Education is, is wonderful, but we got to actually be that bridge. Um, so anyway, our internship program, the reason that kind of weaves into all of this is it's a way that CREAR has been able to become sustainable. It, the volunteer groups and the internship program, they can keep our costs low. We don't have to hire 15 different staff members. We operate with two or three staff members and then the three different blocks of time that we offer internships throughout the year. Fill in the you know, operations team, we have a girls empowerment team, so on and so forth. So it, we've really become a sustainable program through these internships, and it's just a win-win-win, honestly. Uh, your students come down, they get this amazing global experience, eyes open to the world, educating global citizens, all that lovely stuff. Additionally, we're a sustainable program, we can keep doing all this wonderful work we do in Monacaste. And uh, the country, both countries, it's just a great, it's a win-win-win all around. Um, to continue, uh, we have 8% of our population only has access to the internet. And, um, you know, the numbers just kind of go on and on. 
um, these were just the ones that I felt were most relevant to uh, this presentation. But to start off, talking about an internship program, uh, your students are going to be constantly challenged to solve difficult problems and questions. That, that critical thinking is going to really be improved. For example, what's one way we can reduce our teen pregnancy rate by 2% by the end of 2017? Or what are three skills that can make us on our local more employable? And how can we begin to educate these locals in those areas and improve by 2018? When you come to work at Crayar, you're really going to be working. You're not just getting coffee for the executive director or uh, pushing paper. You know, it's going to be, we're going to be working. We really rely on our interns, and it's going to be an awesome experience for all parties involved. Communication skills will be improved. Uh, obviously, you know, you're going to be functioning in a country that speaks Spanish, so you're going to need to improve your Spanish skills. You're going to be teaching English as a foreign language. You're going to be learning how to create those lesson plans for English as a foreign language. Additionally, you're going to be communicating with people of a different socioeconomic class and of a large range of ages in that socioeconomic class. Because our programs are offered from ages 5 all the way to 65 when we added our adult programming at the beginning of this year. Also, our internship program is multinational. We take in students from Canada, Australia, Colombia, Mexico, Costa Rica, so on and so forth. So you're gonna, our teams of the actual interns are gonna be international. You're gonna be learning to deal with different cultures, and I think that's really important in terms of communication skills. Artistic and social development, obviously. After Crayar, your global environmental and social consciousness will be significantly increased. And I have the video was supposed to be next, but I'll just talk about Crayon real quick. <laughs> we, in 2015, we supported 300 students. We had nine different programs uh, designed to help our community members. Uh, that's okay. I'll, I'll talk about Crayon. It's no problem. Of uh, those nine different programs, is the art and the technology classes that I mentioned, the girls empowerment. Uh, we also brought in 14 different groups, um, the ones that uh, Christine just mentioned and we were able to perform 213 hours of community service with those groups. We had 1,248 hours of total programming, and we were able to do eight different community initiatives. And that's with our volunteer groups. I didn't focus a lot on the actual volunteer group aspect during this presentation, because I knew Christine was going to be speaking, but that is another element of what we do at CRAYAR. Uh, basically, we act as a travel agency, and, and the local connect for those volunteer groups, and it's also another wonderful opportunity to help create sustainability for our program. And I don't know if this video no. is going to work. Uh, well, it might. It might. It might. I it from here. <laughs> it's just a short little video of some of my current college interns just explaining uh, why Crayon is great. Anyway, it was we have uh, 12 current uh, university interns. I'll, I'll get it. It works. I'll upload it to our website at the end, and you can watch it with her presentation on the website. Sure, they're just talking about uh, how great it is to work for you. So, thank you so much for your time.